Hello and welcome to our pilot for Mirror World, where we will provide an in-depth walkthrough of experiments and concepts. We are going to start off by looking at how we plan to edit the film. The first shot shows one of our locations from the alternative world. Using Premiere Pro, we were able to use a horizontal flip tool to give us the mirror effect. One of the major difficulties we ran into while filming for our film was lighting. Our original plan was to film at night, in the pitch black. However, as you can see, this wasn't as desirable as once thought, and the camera picked up a lot of noise and gave us a grainy effect. As well as this, it was a lot busier than we anticipated, with cars moving in the street and people walking through the shots. To overcome this, we decided to take some shots at dawn instead. This aided the issue of traffic and individuals in the street. As well as this, it gave us a much more aesthetically pleasing image, sustaining the reduction of grain and noise. Another thing we experimented with is the costume. We found a more suit mask that we are going to use for our faceless beings. Displayed here is our actor wearing the mask which gives us the desired faceless effect. An issue that we ran into, however, was its aesthetic. It is extremely white which reflected the blue light and made the shot look very fake and sharp in places. From the shoot with the mask, we were also able to determine the importance of finding the right robes. We need them to be able to work around the mask, making it look that much more lifelike, which in turn will add to our horror genre. We were also able to learn that controlling the lighting while shooting with the mask is detrimental to the look of the film to keep the tone more true to life. To overcome the falseness of the white mask, we decided to paint it a skin coloured tone. This looks much more realistic and will be easier to light, as it is less reflective. We tested the painted mask on our actor and found it will be much more effective as shown here. As you can see here, we are trialling a mirror scene which is pivotal to our final product. However, when attempting this, we did not get the preferred shots we wanted. This was due to problems with camera placement, such as we would have to position shots accordingly so the camera was not being reflective and therefore seen by the audience. In this over-the-shoulder shot explicitly, we achieved to get the camera out of frame. However, our character's stature is too overwhelming, taking the effect away from the character's reflection. We also experimented with the effect of black and white. This idea came to mind when discussing how the new world should be exemplified. Although we like the look of both, and that black and white has less noticeable noise, we have opted to stick with colour in our final cut as we came to an agreement that the black and white does not bear enough meaning in order to be used and would risk the possibility of becoming cliché. By not having colour, we would sacrifice the option of playing with different coloured lighting such as the blue light, which we were all eager to use. Here is where we will be filming the shop sequence. This is where Michael encounters the character of Jerry, cowering in the corner. The shop is full of dusty mirrors, old antiques and numerous mannequins, an aesthetic we felt would be suitable for this particular sequence. The mannequins are going to be used to give the audience a jump scare. During this scene, faceless beings enter the shop hunting down Michael and Jerry. There is a lot of room for the characters to move around, hiding from the creatures. We have discussed using the mirrors to create some interesting shots as the scene plays out. <laughs> 